And I'll be here with Greg DiPietro on Trajectory Tuesday, where we're going to connect and share with warriors like yourself committed to a life of growth and mastery. So when I think about trajectory, trajectory change, um, and sort of establishing what's possible, I often think of Greg. Um, Greg and I started working together. First of all, welcome to Warrior Greg. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to be here. Awesome. So 11 years ago, um, Greg came to work in a competition when I owned the coaching and training development company. And uh, we introduced this grand competition out there. And Greg responded to an ad amongst other people. And I often tell the story that when Greg started, um, you know, it was a little bit of a competition. I don't think he realized that. He didn't realize it until about <laughs> three years ago. <laughs> so eight years later, he yeah. came out. So, but uh, the first person, um, it was to make calls and set up meetings for these um, training grants. Right. Uh, the first person called for a week or two, maybe it was to, I think two weeks, and established zero meetings. The second person called for two weeks, established zero meetings. The third person called for those weeks and established zero meetings. And then there was Greg, he called for those two weeks and established, I think, about 30 meetings. Right. Is that fair? Yes. So essentially, Greg was like infinity, an infinite number better. There's no number you can multiply by uh, time zero to get the third. Right. So on Trajectory Tuesday, I should know, right? We often talk about the idea of how people think that the results can't be that different, or there's luck involved, mm -hmm. or something like that. Right. Clearly, in a two-week period, looking thirty meetings versus zero, right. because other people had nothing to do with luck, right? They had to do with incredible skill set dynamic. Absolutely. Can you explain maybe your perspective, just more on a global level, about how possible it is to access small, small differences? That create massively different results. Right. right. Well, it is infinitely possible to become aware of these small little differences that you can make that can create significant positive results for your company. Um, and I can get specific about how I kind of went about it. Yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah. Um, well, kind of. The and, this is, and the purpose of this, this the outcome from this, is right. to just learn what's possible and how the same type of people, all considering themselves to be intelligent, reasonably personal, reasonably good people, created wildly different results. Right. Unbelievably different results. Right. So when I hear that it's a numbers game in regards to, say, cold calling, setting up meetings, bringing on new clients, I reject that completely out of hand. Uh, it has to do with what you're bringing to it, what your intentions are, what your skill set is, and how you're able to really genuinely connect with other human beings. And if you're able to at least kind of be above the fray um, and have a level of self-awareness um, and have the right intentions behind what you're doing and be really believing in what you're doing, you can make things happen in a manner that's definitely uncommon and more significant than the average person will. Right. And just from the way Greg spoke right. and his body language shifted, right, and the, the congruence between his words, his tone, and his body language, right, that's congruence. Um, if that's how Greg is making phone calls to people, the results are going to be wildly different. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead. And people can feel that. You know, to your yeah. point, people can feel, you can't really, you can't mask, you can't fake authenticity, sincerity, confidence, right? So that level of passion and emotion that ideally I'm trying to have every time I'm engaging with another person, they can sense that, they can feel it. So there's this distinction created, even if you're not able to set up a meeting right there and then, you're at least creating a different experience with the person who you're interacting with. Right. And built on right. caring about them and having a, a non-manipulative, like you're, you could, you do an incredible job of setting up meetings. Could you set up meetings like that to sell swamp land to people that was valueless in the middle of the South? I would have to be, I would totally have to restructure myself and like pretty much sell my soul. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you, so the answer is yes, if I was going to be a horribly manipulative human being. Okay. You know? right. But that's not something that you're interested in and probably would end up with like, you know, you do terrible things to yourself outside of that. Uh, yeah. Collaterally. Absolutely. Awesome. So hey, it's Trajectory Tuesday. Um, I am so thankful for Greg being here. We've been having some you know guest stars on, and mm -hmm. so Greg, thank you for being on. You're welcome. And it, and really, you know, this is just such a mission to help people understand what's possible. It's not to make whatever results you're producing wrong. It's not to make anybody feel right. Bad. It's to it be, because there's tons of things I could be doing more. You know, I don't own the biggest company in the world. I'm not Bill Gates. I'm not Jeff Bezos. I'm not you know building ships to go to the Mars, right? But in terms of uh, the things that we're hoping to accomplish in our life, we're doing some, some unique things. You know, you're doing your job uniquely well, I think I'm doing my job uniquely well, and there's possibilities for both of us to do it much greater, right. but there's also the fact that where we are and how much different that is than what people would normally do. Without question. Right, and that's what Trajectory 2 is all about, is to help you realize what's possible. 
to make commitments and set yourself and also love yourself and appreciate where you are but where you're going as well. Never making yourself wrong. It's not about ego. It's just about knowing there's more in the journey and to enjoy the process. So, Greg, thanks, Barbara. You're very welcome. All right. Thank you. Be well. Trajectory Tuesday. Give us a call. Thanks. Thank you.